I won't even say the draft. The draft is not what I'm excited about with the Chicago Bears. How great is it that the front office has been doing one hell of a job over the past four to five months, this entire offseason for the Chicago Bears? Because going back to Justin Fields and, and uh, trading him and trying to figure out if we were going to get him or Kayla Williams, I think the Bears did a damn good job really reorchestrating this offense and making sure that we're going to have somewhat of a successful season last year. And if anything, at least we know we're getting some sort of hype out of the Chicago Bears because grabbing Caleb Williams was the start. And then at number nine, you grab another great receiver in Odunze. Like this, this was amazing. This is amazing. And then you mentioned all the other pieces that we've added through the offseason of Keenan Allen. Obviously, we kept DJ Moore, but DeAndre Swift and some defensive pieces as well. Like this is this is great for the Chicago Bears. So I want to give kudos to them. Um, and, and I say they stood out to most one of the most teams that stood out to me because of what they've been doing over the past few months. They've been doing a phenomenal job in that front office. Man, shout out to Poles for doing this thing. Um, the only thing I, I'm shocked about with the Bears and the only thing I, I'm worried about is the offensive line. But with so many pieces on uh, in the skill positions on the offense, they got to make it work. They got to make it work. No way you grab that many skill pieces without securing your offensive line. So I'm going to trust in the Bears that they know what they were doing by grabbing so many offensive weapons in these skill positions rather than making these offensive line changes. And we've seen, you know, they grabbed the Bills offensive lineman, which is huge, but, you know, ultimately that's one person out of four linemen and five linemen and then don't even get to talking about guys you're going to be bringing off, off, the, um, off the sideline and stuff. So, you know, hey, that's my only concern. Other than that, I'm really expecting the Bears to win at least 11 games this season. 11 games and I, I know it's kind of a high standard but look at who we have on this team you got to start setting the standard high somewhere if you don't set it anywhere because I'm not settling for another seven and nine season an eight and eight season that's not good enough bro not when we drafted the number one pick when we made a bunch of trades to bring over guys in these skill positions that's not good enough you got to go at least 11 games minimum. And I know it's possible because when we had Justin Fields, what, we finished 7-9? and nine? Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. 7-9 and nine is what we finished. And we could have easily gotten 11 games. There was multiple situations where we had the game in the bag. We blew leads. But Justin Fields carried us, and he helped us out. He helped us win these games with not even half of the guys we have at this skill position. It was really just helming DJ Moore. So, yes, Chicago Bears, we got to get 11 games for sure. Uh, 11 games is the new standard for this season. Tell your friends, tell your, your, your co-workers, tell everybody that the Bears, it's a requirement that we get 11 games this season because anything else is unacceptable, especially when we, we've done such a phenomenal job this offseason and building around um, this new orchestrated offense. So.